Hi, so um, I wanted to introduce myself. I am Arwen and I am um, making this video log to uh, keep accountability for myself <clears throat> on my journey for the next 30 days. I'm going to be doing the carnivore diet and, um, and working out. Most of my workouts are going to be just walking uh, on a treadmill at the gym and going for walks with my kids uh, around the neighborhood and maybe a couple videos at home. Uh, <clears throat> um, I really like talking to people one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not a huge fan of uh, videos because um, they make me nervous. So um, I'll try to do a video every day to talk about what I had for the day, like what I ate, what exercises I did, um, what my, like what I've noticed about my um, workouts and in how they're affecting my body if there is weight loss or less inflammation or anything like that um today i noticed that my fingers are not as inflamed uh, they're not red and uh, like this hand is because my watch squeezes my arm but um but my my knuckles like the skin here isn't bright red and and swollen and shiny um, like it has been for the past few months and uh, I think I'll be able to wear my wedding ring in the next day or two. Um, I started the day off today uh, at 220 pounds. Um, I'm five foot one and 220 pounds is not a healthy weight for me. I have four beautiful daughters and um, I spent uh, the better part of 10 years either either pregnant or breastfeeding. Um, it was very hard for me to lose the weight after my first baby but not for your typical reasons of like, well, I was eating too much or it was because um, we lost our first baby at 38 weeks and um, my belly was all that I had left. So it was very hard for me to let that go because uh, it was all I had left to show that I had had a baby and then I guess I did lose some of the weight, um, but I still had the little belly and the stripe. Um, and then five months after we had our first baby, I was pregnant again with our daughter. And um, so she, they were, they would have been about 14 months apart. <clears throat> and then I had her, and when I was breastfeeding, I was ravenous. I ate everything and anything I wanted to because I was breastfeeding, and and so I was. I thought that was a really good excuse to eat cake, because <laughs> I really really like sweets. Um, and then uh, when she was about a year and a half old, I got pregnant again with our second daughter and uh, and I remember I kept every time I got pregnant at the end of my pregnancy after I had them I would lose a good amount of weight of course because I just gave birth and then I would gain even more and so after we had our last baby uh, I was under 200 pounds by 0.6 pounds, but I was still under 200 pounds. 
So I kept saying, well, at least I'm not 200 pounds. Um, I never made it over 200 pounds, so, so I did good. And, uh, and I would do everything I could to um, make excuses for why I was still big. And it was because I was pregnant or because I was breastfeeding or because I was tired. And then I was sick. I got really, really sick with my last pregnancy. And um, I got mold poisoning. <coughs> and uh, because of that, it made it hard for me to get up and move around. And so um, I gained weight a lot. And uh, after I had her... We discovered that there was mold in the house that we were living in. And so we moved out of our house and into an, or well, the, the trailer we were renting and into an apartment. And we stayed there for a year and I still didn't get better. Um, I was on a lot of medicine. I still didn't get better. And a friend of mine told me about uh, a company that had a probiotic with an antifungal in it. And I will name it as Plexus and... So one of the side effects is that you lose weight, which would be great, but it wasn't a side effect for me. Um, it wasn't something that happened for me. I didn't lose weight, but I did get better. I did. I was able to breathe and I was able to, um, I was able to get up and go to the gym and clean my house and take care of my kids and play games and mow my lawn and all the things that we take for granted because it's just things that we can do and it wasn't something I could do. Um, people would come over and help me with my new baby and they would help me with my house and my kids and my laundry and it was wonderful people who, who gave their time and, um, and Plexus did help me to be able to breathe and function and be around people and not have a, a nervous cough or um, <clears throat> not have to be constantly tethered to a breathing machine uh, because I was always having to have breathing treatments on my nebulizer every four hours. And then I was having to take use my rescue inhaler every two hours in between so that I could breathe. So instead of it being a rescue inhaler, it was a maintenance inhaler. And then I had an inhaler that was a long acting steroid that I would use in the morning and at night. And it was the strongest dose that they had. And then um, I also had allergy medicines and steroids and just an insane amount of stuff. Um, and so taking the probiotics and, and the supplements that I had through Plexus helped me to be able to get off of all those medicines. Um, and the only time I needed them was when uh, I would get really, really sick, like I would get bronchitis or pneumonia, which became less and less frequent the more regularly I took my supplements. So uh, I, I just am getting over now being sick for the first time in a year and a half. And uh, so right now I, I haven't had a breathing treatment in a little over 24 hours. And, and so that's pretty awesome because I was taking them every, every four to six hours. Um, so... Now, my goal is that I believe that if I lose the weight that I'm struggling with right now and I get back down to a healthy weight, which for me would be 130 to 140, um, I would still have enough meat on my body to not be cold um, and muscle on my body to not be cold, but be, um, but it, I, I would still be way below where I'm at right now. So I have almost a hundred pounds to lose. Um, and, uh, that's, that's a big thing to say for me because that's admitting that I have almost a hundred pounds to lose and admitting that I let it get this far. So, 
if you want to offer encouragement, that's much appreciated. Um, I love all positive input. Um, like I said, I'm going to start with walking for an hour every day uh, at the gym and um, walking my dogs with my kids and um, and I'm eating it's going to sound silly I'm eating steak um, I'm doing intermittent fasting and I'm eating steak and that's all steak and water and maybe coffee if I can stomach black coffee but I really don't like black coffee so I may just have to get rid of coffee altogether um, I was going to drink these drinks called Bang, but um, I don't want to drink anything you could set on fire. So there's that. Um, if you have any good suggestions of zero-calorie drinks that don't have sucralose, that are sweetened with stevia, um, that would be great. I don't like a whole lot of chemicals. Um, um, I don't, I don't want to put a whole lot of extra chemicals or... Um, anything like that in my body. I'll probably be doing videos late at night because my children will be asleep and so I won't have 26 hijackers coming through on my, actually four hijackers coming through on my video um, because they're super cute but they're also like super distracting for me. And then um, I hope that this will help somebody else out too. So I'm also going to post some pictures I think of where I'm at now and and then when I get where I want to be where I'm at then so I'm gonna do a video every every day for the next 30 days I'm, I'm gonna try I'm very horrible at commitment honestly um, like I can commit to my husband and my children um, but committing to doing a video every day or calling somebody back when I say I'm going to because I'm not really good at that. Um, I can never remember to mail things. So that's why I always like things with dropship because if I don't have to commit to mailing it, that's great. Um, and uh, mostly I just try to keep up with um, our house, our family, our bills, stuff like that. So I am going to make a commitment to post a video every day um, and hopefully it will help somebody else too. Um, by the end of this 30 days I would like to have dropped at least um, 30 pounds. I think 30 pounds is doable with what I'm doing. It's a radical diet. It's called the carnivore diet. Um, and like I said, it's uh, for the next 30 days, I'm going to eat only steak between the hours of 2 and 8 p.m. Uh, so today went pretty good. I ate mostly steak. I might have had a bite of lobster from my kids' lobster uh, uh, macaroni. So, um, yeah, I did. I, I did. But um, I started the day at 2.20. And I ended the day at 2.06. So already I feel like I've done something pretty awesome there. And my scale's not broken. It's brand new. Um, so uh, I, I did check. I had my oldest daughter step on the scale and then step on the scale again. And it was the same for her. She Not the same as in she lost 14 pounds. But it's the same that she started the day at 96 pounds. And she ended the day at 96 pounds. And I looked at 96 pounds and thought, gee, wouldn't that be nice? But um, probably not because I'm a little bit taller than her and I don't think 96 pounds would look good on me. <clears throat> um, anyways, I kind of ramble a lot. I'm really sorry about that. And I will try not to apologize a whole lot either because that's um, frustrating. And if you can think of any suggestions... Um, I am not looking to join any MLMs or uh, any groups like that, uh, but I do appreciate any kind of constructive 
um, uh, advice. So have a good night.